Are you married? Nope. Don't want to be. Hi guys, Sylvia Sage here. Welcome back to another antidote of Sexy Funny Raw. Today, I'm doing part two of Q&A. You guys sent in so many questions, there was no way I was gonna be able to cover them all in part one. So, here we go. More questions. What's your favorite type of cuisine to eat? I don't know that I'd call it cuisine, but I always say if I could pick one thing for the rest of my life to eat, it's gonna be mashed potatoes and gravy. Sorry, that's just my jam. From the Midwest, that's what we do. I'm potato girl. Next question says, do you have a sister or brother? What do they and your parents think of your profession? Great question. I do have a brother. He uh, was not so keen on it in the beginning, but we're five years in at this point and I'm a grown up. So he's come to the realization that this is what it's gonna be and I invite him to porn parties. He's fine. <laughs> My dad on the other hand thinks uh, I'm a genius and uh, he wishes he would have thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> My mother, she lives for Jesus, so she disagrees a little bit, but you know what? Then again, I'm an adult. I'm gonna make all the decisions on my own, and she understands that. So at the end of the day, as long as I'm happy and I'm healthy, I still have a great relationship with everybody in my family. They love me, I love them. This is not a question, just want to tell you that you're beautiful and I love you. Aw, thanks Brian, I love you too. What's your favorite nail color? Hmm. I don't know, I don't know that I have a favorite nail color. I have to do my nails so often. I do them every 10 days. So at this point, I've just gotten so creative, I just started asking other people what they want me to do to my nails. And this time, they pick blue. Not a color I would have picked on my own, but fuck it, right? It's all about the experience. So I don't know, what's your favorite nail color? Tell me, maybe I'll do it next. This is a good one, guys. Do you ever worry about subconsciously taking someone else's joke or vice versa? All the time. It's terrifying. In fact, when I'm watching comics who I really appreciate, I kind of cringe a little bit when they say something really funny because I'm like, damn it, I wish I would have thought of that. Now I can't say anything along those lines because I don't want to like tread on their comedy territory. It's tough, guys. It's really hard. And then you think you're being original and then you hear somebody else say something incredibly ser like similar to what you did and you're like, did they hear me or did I hear them? It's a tricky territory. So yeah, that's a good question. But luckily, not too many porn star comedians out there, so I run a pretty good risk of not running into anybody else's jokes. X-Ray2876 wants to know, how old are you and are you single? I'm probably too old for you. <laughs> I am single and I just turned 36 in March. Don't worry, if you didn't get me anything, you can head to my Amazon wish list. It's on my Instagram, it's on my Twitter, and if you email me, I'll link you there. Oh, here's a good one from Daniel, MD. Hope you're a real doctor. Tips for when you have a great setup for a joke but can't think of a good punchline. That, my friend, is when I turn to a writer's group. I've got a pretty dedicated group of comics that I turn to anytime I have comedy questions. And that way we can kind of just shoot stuff around and figure out what sounds best. It's nice to have other people's opinions. So writing in groups, always preferred. The Real Buttercup says, how many Chiefs games do you make it to in a season? Would love to meet you at one. For those of you who don't know, I am from Kansas City, Missouri, where the Chiefs play, uh, and my family is season ticket holders. So up until I was 19 years old, I never missed a single home game. Find me there, section 116. Probably should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, on a serious note, Shanti says, were there any drawbacks mentally when you first got into porn? Yes. The stigma of dealing with being in a porn op, let me do that again. Serious question here from Shanti. Were there any drawbacks mentally when you first got into porn? Yes. Trying to deal with how everyone else now looks at you is incredibly tough. You have to have really thick skin and just realize that not everybody's gonna like you no matter what you do. I could have been a fairy princess for a living and somebody would have been pissed at me for it. Maybe because they don't have enough fairy dust. I don't know. All I'm saying is there's a lot of stigma that goes around it and if all you can do is just be a little bit nicer to somebody that you don't understand what they do, that's the best way to go about it for me. Always just try to use empathy 
not sympathy, don't feel bad for me, I'm doing what I want to be doing, but try to understand what it's like to be in my position and be so heavily judged in anybody else's position. You never know what somebody's going through until you've walked in their shoes. And trust me, I'm happy. All right guys, that's it for the day. Don't forget, if you like what you see, subscribe and we'll see you soon.